Welcome to my, um, this is kind of like my utility room, my storage area, my space for putting things. Uh, oops, bonk the baby's head. <laughs> my, one is car seat. This is my like, apothecary. And then um, I just put my Azure order here. Over here, I've got my egg cartons and jars that I take back to the farm because we get raw milk from a farm. <laughs> yep, and we get some eggs from the farm, don't we? Yes, we do. And so that's where I have them because our door, we have a door right here that goes out to the garage and so that I can um, load those things up into the car. And then this is kind of a dark room anyways. We do have a window in here, but there's a tree out there and the light doesn't really shine. So I keep a lot of my herbs and things like that, extra spices, extra doodads there. And then I clean off this table. That's where I sew. That's where I kind of do all my mom things, and then it also becomes a catch-all. And right now, it's a catch-all for my Azure order. Hey friends, thank you so much for joining me today. If you are new to my channel, this is Rouse Rising, and my name is Katie. And this is my little guy, Bodie. He does a lot of vlogging with me because he's not far from me ever. Um, kind of spoiled rotten, but that's baby life for you. I've got my Azure order right here. And uh, they were out of everything. They were sold out of so many things that I wanted to order. The rice I wanted because I didn't want brown rice. I think white rice lasts longer than brown rice. So they were out of all of their white rice. They were out of plain organic oatmeal. So I had to get gluten-free oatmeal. Um, so many things that they were low on. I think people are panic buying. And this was my first time ever ordering through Azure. I've known about it for the last six years since I've lived here. Um, but I never took the plunge and ordered. Just, I just didn't do it. It just, I don't know. I don't know what my hang up was, but I finally did it. And I'm so happy that I did. So the first thing that I got was oatmeal because we like to make all of our own uh, granola and oatmeal pies and crumbles and things like that. So I got a 25 pound of organic gluten-free oatmeal because like I said, they were sold out of everything. So doing the best I can there. Um, my mom always used to add pearl barley to soups and stews. So I got a five pound bag of pearl barley just to have an extra starch, um, an extra grain to incorporate into our diets. Let me put my baby down here. He wants to play. Um, I got these white food grade buckets from Walmart and I went back to get more and all the ones that they had in stock, it was like 20. All of them were cracked in the bottom. I hope that doesn't happen to these. I got five of these. I've got to pick up one more for my Gamma Seal lids. But I went ahead and grabbed from Azure Standard these Gamma Seal lids and they go on a standard five gallon or two gallon bucket. And then you can easily get in and out of the bucket there is a black seal on this one, and then this has a seal on it, and it's supposed to keep pests, bugs, etc., etc., out. If you do have a rat problem, I'm sure they can chew through the plastic. Rats are insane, but we don't have any kind of rat or mouse problem in our home. So um, I just got these five gallon buckets and these Gamma Seal lids. I've got six of these. It was two packs of three, so I grabbed six. Um, also got these lids. I think they were like a dollar at Walmart because I didn't know if I was going to find these Gamma Seal lids anywhere. So anyways, uh, this just screws on and it keeps everything in there contamination free and water tight. So I got six of those for these. And then um, I grabbed two five pound bags of sugar. They were out of the 25 pound bags of sugar, which I originally wanted to get to fill up this five gallon bucket. But um, I've got some other granulated sugar that I got from Walmart and I have another 10 pound bag in here. So I'm set for sugar for a while. I don't need to get any more. I also have three or four bags of brown sugar in my pantry. So, um, so, so far I got this pearl barley that was, uh, my mom actually put pearl barley in all of our beef stews and things like that. So I grabbed a bag of pearl barley so I can start adding that to our beef stews and our deer, deer stews and elk stews just to kind of stretch the meal and make it go a little bit farther. Um, and I grabbed this 12 pound jar of honey. 
And this was actually a really good deal. I think it was $44 for the whole thing. And when we're talking for 32 ounces, that's two pounds, um, for 32 ounces, it's about $20 for local raw honey. And this is raw honey, um, berry, wildflower, local raw honey, not local. It's just berry, wildflower, raw honey. And it's very tasty. Uh, one of the last things I grabbed was this huge bag of pinto beans. It's 25 pounds of organic pinto beans. We have been loving refried beans and we have so much pig lard to turn or to render. We have a bunch of pig fat to render from our pig harvest. So I'm going to be rendering down a bunch of lard this week. Uh, this is my third time doing it. I do a large crock pot amount every single time and we go through about one, two jars probably a pint total every week of pig lard because especially like over Thanksgiving, I used it to make pie crust. I use it to, in mashed potatoes. I used it in my bread recipes. Uh, I used so much lard the last two weeks. It's just insanity. So we got a big bag of pinto beans. I'm going to see if I can can some refried beans. I think that would be really great just to have some easily on the shelf so that I can have an easy dinner at night. Um, if I can can some refried beans. If not, I'll just go ahead and cook up a bunch of these and have some cans of beans already cooked up. But these last a long time, so I'm going to put them in one of my gamma sealed buckets and store it. I'm going to have all my um, bulk stuff stored under here. And I don't have a lot of stuff. I just want to have enough stuff to get us through, um, like if there's a snowstorm and which we can get around anywhere that we need to. We have four wheel drive vehicles, but if there's a snowstorm or something crazy. I want to be able to have food on hand anytime that we need it, you know, just in case. Uh, same thing with my herbal apothecary. I just have some things that I always keep on hand. Anytime I need something, I buy the herb and I always try to have enough in case I need it again or in case a friend needs it. Um, and I keep some dehydrated elderberries up there, ground fenugreek, ginger, you name it, nettle, alfalfa leaf, turmeric. Damiana leaf. Oh my goodness. So many things on that shelf of stuff. And then I have all my tinctures in a different cabinet. Um, but yeah, anyways, I was here to show you my Azure haul. Okay, you guys, so I didn't dump out my bags of sugar, but I got 30 pounds of sugar in this uh, five gallon bucket. I'm gonna label my bucket with um, a label on the side that says sugar really big so that I can dis distinguish which bucket it is. And I'm gonna do this with all of my buckets. I got one for sugar. Let's see, I've got six lids, so I'm gonna have six buckets when Walmart gets more in stock. Theirs had cracks in them when I went back to get more. Um, so I'm gonna do one for sugar, one for pinto beans, one for uh, oatmeal, um, we've got one for, uh, flour or flour grains. We're going to do one for rice. And then the last one is going to be for, let me think, let me think, let me think random stuff, probably random bags of things that, um, need to be stored in a solid container so that no bugs or pests or anything get to them. So I'm not sure what that is. I think I had it mapped out in my brain, but those are the five items I can think of. Pinto beans, um, sugar, oats, all the random stuff. Like I think I have like big bags of salt and things like that that I'm gonna keep out in the fifth one. So yeah, just um, five gallon buckets for me, for us just to have some dry goods on hand. I think that's the best thing that we can do right now to prepare. I also have some canned food items in the kitchen, uh, but I encourage everybody to have at least like a, a month's supply of food if you can. For our family of seven, the amount of food that I have right now might get us through a month or two, um, but I'm working on it slowly, but surely. So yeah, if you can, it's ideal to have a year, but not all of us can do that. Um, 
This isn't my food store area. We have a separate food store area out in the garage and we have a little bit of one in the kitchen, in our pantry, in between our pantries. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys that real quick. Okay, so right here in this little area, it's not a whole lot. And then I have another place in my laundry room in my cabinets where I've got food stored. But I had to put these lower ones in boxes because as you can tell my baby, even right now, he's scooching the stand away. He gets into everything. But down here I have some potatoes and um, down here I have some potatoes. We've got some elk stew, some deer stew, and some more potatoes down there. As well as we have a whole bunch of bone broths, chicken broths, elk broth, deer broth that we're storing in another location. Thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't already, please click that subscribe button so that you can hang out with me and stay up to date with all of my latest uploads. Also click that notification bell. That's going to tell you when I upload a video. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you guys have a great week until next time. Bye.